Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. John Thompson McMurrin was born in McConnellsburg, Pennsylvania in 1801. He read law with an uncle in Ohio and followed his friend John Quitman to Natchez in the 1820s. In 1831, he married Mary Louisa Turner, the daughter of Edward Turner, a Mississippi State Supreme Court Justice. McMurrin's law practice thrived in the 1830s. In 1841, he and his wife purchased 130 acres of land on the outskirts of Natchez, a parcel described as a used-up old cotton field. The McMurrins immediately began transforming the track into the estate known today as Melrose. In addition to his law practice, McMurrin was also a cotton planter and a slave owner, holding interests in at least five plantations and owning over 325 slaves. The McMurrin's happy tenure at Melrose was, of course, cut short by the outbreak of the Civil War. By 1865, McMurrin was hurting financially, and he and his wife were overcome with grief over the deaths of their daughter and several grandchildren. In December of that year, McMurrin sold his suburban estate to George Mallon Davis and his wife Elizabeth for $38,000. The McMurrins moved to her parents' home, Woodlands, which sat across the road from Melrose. It is believed that the couple had plans to leave Natchez, and that they were preparing to move to Maryland to be close to their son and his family. In December 1866, McMurrin boarded a steamboat, the Fashion, heading to New Orleans to transact some last-minute business. Shortly before the boat reached Baton Rouge, it exploded in the middle of the Mississippi River. Alive, but seriously injured, McMurrin was fished out of the icy waters, and taken to Dr. Charlestone's hospital in New Orleans. There, on this day, December 30th in 1866, John Thompson McMurrin died shortly before his wife reached his bedside. His death was greatly mourned by the citizens of Natchez. Hi, I'm Jeff Mansell, historian for the Natchez National Historical Park, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.